Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have brought you, maybe for me, I don't know about you, but I have a palette that I think I might have a dupe for Natasha Denona's new palette that she just launched and that is up here or up here somewhere here. Um, so yes, that's a neon pastel shadows with some beautiful shimmers and stuff. Every spring I get like tempted and I'm, I look at the palette and I'm like, wow, it's beautiful. But for me, now that I don't um, do makeup like for others, meaning uh, I used to do makeup for wedding or guest and stuff like that, but I don't do that anymore. For So for me, as a single person here, I'm not very into colorful palettes. So what I have had from before, that's what I'm going to bring out. And I feel like I have a dupe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what I have. Here I have this one. I don't know if you guys remember this palette or if it, even if it's available anymore or not. But I got this one from Lime Prime. And this one is Venus. These are the shades right here, it looks like. And um, all these, like especially the um, periwinkle pinkish uh, shade that she has on the screen that you can see, I feel like this is the dupe that I can uh, come up with. Like these two mixed together, even like this shade right here. Right here, I feel like I can do so out of these three right here. I can probably create that look. Or since the palette is not on my hand, I cannot make an exact dupe. But I feel like that these are the colors could be similar. And even if you don't have uh this shades or this palette, maybe try to see if you uh, have these kind of shimmery shades from other like a uh, Juvia's palette or uh, ColourPop or like some uh, Wet n Wild, they have some colors like that. And if you can bring those out, even like I believe LA Girls, they have beautiful colors. This video is all about sort of dupe. I know this palette isn't like that cheap. It is expensive palette, but since I already have it, that's why I'm calling it a dupe. So I also do have this palette here. Like I can mix and match if I have to or need to. And then this one right here from uh, ABH Norvina, Norvina palette. I don't know which number this one is. Um, this is a huge palette, but these are the colors right here. And these are all like colorful, like shadows. And as you probably know, I'm not very into colors, but I still have these palettes that I bought years back. So. I'm, I still have it because I know every year I pull them out and I try to create some look. Sometimes I, um, you know, show you guys. Sometimes I just wear it for my events that I go to. And then another palette that I have here is a Flamingo eyeshadow palette, of course, from Violet uh, Voss. And this one has some of the some of the shades that you can see can kind of like similar to that palette as well. Now, all these color palettes, if you guys have it, then you probably don't need that Natasha Denona's palette, $65. So even if you get it on discount, just save the money. But if you have some colorful palette, bring it out. Let's go ahead, have fun, and play with our makeup. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadows before I do my anything else. So for that, prep my eyes. Let me use my MAC Ochre. I believe that was the name. I don't know. See, just it's all gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my lid and then go on with the shadow. And I'm using my finger to lay that on. Between these three palettes that I have, I'm trying to see which um, what I want to create today. I wanted to create like a spring soft with the pink lips or a wrinkly shade, maybe pink or blue. I'll just mix both. I'm gonna use my Lime Prime, this pink one, to give me a depth on my eyes. Now for the inner corner shade, I want to play with this blue, this blue right here, these two shades right here, I'm going to mix them together. 
and see what color I can come up with. So it's more like a silvery blue, which this color pulled more towards uh, more than the pink one. So let me use my finger and see. Oh my. Okay, still shows. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it, it's showing more, the blue more. All right, so this is how it looks like now. I want to actually add this uh, shade right here, which is called IV, and it's more like a green shade. This one right here, it's beautiful. Just want to tap it on the top. Now that it's actually pulling more gold, uh, I wanted to use this Violet Boss, and I wanted to use this a lemonade shade right here, the yellow one brush. It's a uh, Wing Goss number three. This is the brush right here. I want to deepen it more. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and use the popsicle, this popsicle color right here, and uh, as well the sun bake between the sunbait and a popsicle. I'm gonna mix them together. Also what I did is I used the yellow shade, which is the lemonade, um, just right here to bring out the yellow a little more. So that's what I'm doing right here. All right, so now that is, this is what it looks like, and I do like it. Um, I still am looking for a little more in depth, just a little more. So now from Norvina's pal palette, I'm gonna use this A2 right here, this orangey shade. It's a very deep orange. Maybe I should just use the neon green and the orange, and then see what colors it comes to. Okay, it is very orangey. This is how it looks like. Now I want to go ahead and use this greeny shade with the periwinkle bluish and mix with the pink because I feel like I lost that a uh, little bit of shimmery on there. So I'm just dab dab on two three and go on for my inner corner i wanted to probably use this whitish like strike white called radiant this one i'm going to use it for my inner corner so for my wings do i want to do wings just a tiny wings i'm going to use natasha denona's uh, brown shade here this is the Micro Tech Eye Crown, the brown color. Also, I'm gonna, on top of it, I'm gonna go ahead and use Charlotte Tilbury brown one as well. I did my foundation concealer and I did use the Lancome the XL Curling Primer, and I did put um, Huda Beauty's number eight brow pencil to arch my brows, and that's what I have. So this is why my lashes looks kind of weird. I wanted to show, share and show you guys something. So I had this uh, Huda Beauty's pound cake, and I had it for a while. So I saw that the, the cherry blossom or whatever the pink shade that she has, it sold out everywhere. It is still like sold out. And I don't know when she's going to have it on stock. So I had in my stash the Bobbi Brown pink right here. This is the one I had, number three. And I don't believe Bobbi Brown sell this pink powder anymore. So I pour that one. I'm going to put a picture right here somewhere. It was a mess. Yesterday, I was like tempted to make a pink powder and so what i did was 
I pulled the shifter out, pulled the paint powder, put it in a the tissue paper, as you can see the picture. And then I took the shifter out of this one as well. And I poured the entire pound cake and I mixed it up. And then I came up with my own powder. Also, this one has Laura Mercier translucent powder. I had a little sample, so I poured that in there also. Uh, with, so I do have a pink Bobbi Brown, number three, and I have a pound cake and Laura Mercier translucent powder. So this is what I came up with. I know it's not all pink pink, but it's light pink. So, and then the smell is gone as well. Original smell. I really liked it. If you don't like care for it, I would suggest to mix it up if you want to. You don't have to, but that's what I did. So the Smell is all gone now. I'm going to use this one and see how it looks under my eyes. I'm going to use my uh, Beauty Blender puff right here. Uh, what I did, if I messed it up with all these mixing powders or did I do a good job? So far, so good. It looks just fine. You know, the pound cake is a really good powder, or the Beauty's pound cake, I mean, really good powder to mix up with the pink from Bobbi Brown. I mean, that one was also a, a good powder too, but it was a pinky pink kind of a shade. I was not very tempted to use it. So I'm happy to just see that it's in here now and it's giving me the brightness as well. So I guess that was not a bad move to mix those two up or three up, I guess. And um, Laura Mercier translucent powder is always great. So I just had the little sample sitting and chilling on the powder drawer. So I thought, why not just mix them up and put it in one place where I am like happy to use for daily basis. I do also have the Givenchy Prima Libre, and this one is number five, and this is the shade. Well, the shade is different here because I um, like just have only three instead of the darker one. The darker does make very dark, so I close that part and just kept those three so that's why it looks more lighter let's have a pink powder and if you guys have a huda beauty's powder already you might want to think about that but don't mix the whole entire pot like i did just pour a little bit out of from here pour your own pink powder like the ben nye pink powder you can buy that from any beauty supply store i believe just google it and you'll see like pink powder and whichever it's affordable and worth your price, whatever you want to pick, then uh, or if you already have it. So just pour the pink, and if you have Huda Beauty's powder, pour that together, mix it up, and try to see if you like it. And if you fall in love with it, then I would suggest mix it up with the entire powder and create your own pink powder. You know what I'm saying? Like the bright powder. Cherry Blossom, I'm not sure when it's going to be available. And I'm not even interested anymore <laughs> to buy that powder. Sometimes you just have to be creative with what you have in your stash and mix it up. That's all it is. You know, companies come up with their own ideas. They have their own warehouse. And sometimes they reformulate by putting one or two different uh, different ingredients off or add add on. But they have their stuff already. So they just put them together and created different things. So if we have so much makeup, we can do the same thing too. Why do we have to go out and keep on buying what they are throwing us on market saying, hey, new product, new packaging, new you know, formula, and then we go crazy, right? So sometimes you just hold back. And if you have so much makeup you already collected, um, then just see what you can do by mixing your shades and stuff let it be the foundation concealer powder uh, eyeshadows anything lipstick even buy the cheapest one like the powder wise you know buy the cheapest pink powder and if you already have the huda beauty like i said you can mix it up and you can have your own cherry blossom powder you don't have to buy that you know just an idea 
if you don't go want. ahead and use my charlotte tilbury magic arm as a ma contour one medium Let me use uh, Mario Makeup by Mario. I have here Dusty Rose, and this is the shade looks like just on top of my cheekbones. I mean, you can directly go or you can use your brush, but today I'm just going to go directly and be a clown face. <laughs> I've never used this side, so I'm just going to use this side since he's. We created it. I'm going to use my Chanel. This one is a metal peach. I'm going to put uh, this highlighter on. For my mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use my Lancome, Lancome Hypnos uh, Drama right here. And this is the one it looks like. Let me see if I can use these two. One is uh, from Huda Beauty Lip uh, Contour bombshell the other one is a lip lip, lip cheat can never say that word uh, from charlotte tilbury this one is a pillow talk use my makeup by mario this one is a bare glow and see how this looks It's not bad. I kind of wanted to do a little bit more pink. So I'm going to see if uh, the Tower 28 and this one is coconut. I don't know how they came up with the coconut for a pink color. This is more like coconut should be more like either white if it's inside or brown if it's outside, outwear. Or green if it's, you know, the outwear is green. Pink? Coconut? I don't know. It's more juicy, but I guess it'll work. And then also, I didn't smell any coconutty in it, so I'm not sure why they chose the name. Who cares? Anyway, I'm finished with my makeup. Hopefully, you enjoyed my video today. And I just want to make this clear: I am not saying by uh, showing you those eyeshadow that I found a dupe or I have a dupe and it's solid. I'm not saying that I don't have the palette so I cannot even compare it I just saw the picture and a video that some uh, youtubers created so I thought let me bring my palettes out and see if I can create a look similar to the shadows I can see it on the picture and the videos sometimes you know we can be wrong because the, you know it, it's not accurate when you go and swatch them side by side that's when you know it closer to each other but I'm just saying that if I have those palette, maybe I can create a look similar to that. But with that being said, if you are a person who's looking for or wanting to buy the palette, go for it. And if you are wanting to save up, maybe you should just uh, shop your own stash and see what you can find. Maybe you wouldn't probably need the palette. And if you're a creator, if you're an artist and you want to buy the palette, then there's no question, right? So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take off today. Hopefully you like my video, video today. And um, thank you so much once again for watching and giving your time to me by watching my video. Hopefully you will consider subscribe to my channel before you leave. I will see you very soon on my next video. Take a good care of yourself. Bye now.